today we will design turing machine to convert each occurrence of 100 by 101 if you like the content of the video useful in understanding the concept do like the video share the video subscribe the channel because subscription is very important now we will design turing machine for the occurrence of 100 to be converted by 101 first of all we will consider the input symbol so if the input symbol is zero what will the output the output will be zero that is indicated by the q1 state because contain zero percent of your required string so the target is targeted string is 100 we are searching for 100 but your string is having zero input so it's not containing anything from your targeted string that's why it is indicated as zero percent uh, and q1 state and where it will going to move because we are, are having Turing machine. Turing machine consists of a tape. So if you are having zero as a first bit, so after reading the first bit as zero, we should move towards the right hand side. So the movement will be towards the right hand side. Now if the first bit is one, for example, so if the first bit of one is one, so we got the, some portion of your targeted string. So out of one zero zero, we got some portion. So that is the thirty three portion. So that is indicated by Q2. So after reading one, where should be the movement? The movement will be again towards the right hand side we are, because we are going to uh, read the remaining string. So the movement will be towards the right hand side. Now if we are having double zero, so double zero means if we are having this kind of string, after reading the first occurrence of zero, we will move the, uh, the movement works towards the right hand side. After moving it towards the right hand side in human state, so we are having zero so in that case also we will bypass it because also does not contain any percentage of your required answer so it will be zero percent indicated by q1 and the movement will be towards the right hand side now if you are having the first bit as zero with the next bit as one so the first bit as zero and the next bit as one so this is whatever 33 percent so the resultant state will be q2 and will move towards the right hand side after one, if you're getting the second bit as zero, so after one, if you're getting the second bit as zero, so this is what we can say, the 33% out of three bits, we got two bits. So it contains 66% uh, of the required string, which is indicated by Q3 and will move towards the right hand side because we are waiting for the next or the last symbol out of 100, we are waiting for the next symbol as zero. Now, if the next symbol is, after this one zero, the next symbol is zero. So what it contains the hundred percent of the required string, which will be indicated by Q4, and where will be the moment? The moment moment will be the right hand side. Now that means for Turing machine, no doubt we are going to consider a tape which contains all the blank symbols, which is indicated by B here. We will write any input string on the blank tape. So this is one example. Now we will start with the initial stage. So if we are here. This is your initial state Q0. So the Q0 with zero, what was the uh, case that it contains the zero portion of the required string. So it will move towards the right hand side with the resultant state as Q1. Okay. Now, if the first bit, suppose instead of starting, you know, if you are considering second, bit, uh, second string, which is starting with one, suppose this is your string starting with one. So in that case, what we have to do? So if this is Q0 with the initial state, with the initial string as one, what we're gonna do, it contains uh, some portion of your required string. So it contains 33% that is indicated by Q2 and will move towards the right hand side. So that is our um. Now, if your string has not started with any input, this is a blank symbol, this is Q0 with the input symbol as blank. So what is this? This is an error because we are waiting for the input symbol, but the input symbol is not there, so it will generate error. Now, when you consider Q1 state, the Q1 means starting with zero. So, if the string is starting with zero, the next symbol can be either zero, it can be one, it can be blank. So, this is Q0 on zero. The resultant state was Q1. Now, Q1 with the next bit either zero. So, Q1 with the next bit either zero will move towards the right hand side with the resistance state as q1 so this is your q1 so q1 with the next symbol as one will be what it is your it will move towards the right hand side and it contains the 33 percent of the required string so the resulting resistance state will be q2 now this is q1 in which q0 and 0 is q1 
and we move towards the uh, uh, right hand side with the input as blank. Blank means nothing is present, so we will stop here. So whenever we have a Q1 with blank symbol, that is your halting position and the result state will be Q1. Now we'll consider Q2 state. What is the Q2 state is that we got out of one, out of one zero zero, we got the first one. So this is your Q2 state. We are having Q2 state, we in Turing machine, we have to consider uh, one more input symbol that is blank. So the input symbol can be either zero, can be one, can be blank. So if the input symbol in Q2 state, the next input symbol is zero, so it will be the Q3 state and if you move towards the right hand side in this is your the current state q2 q2 with the next input symbol s1 is that it's not containing the 66 percent but it's containing the 20 uh, 33 percent of your required string now in q2 the next symbol is blank so what it will halt here because not containing uh, 100 percent of the targeted string but contain the 33 percent of the targeted string so the movement will be what nothing So the movement will be no movement and it will be in the that same position, same state. Now consider Q3. Now what is Q3 means? This is your 1, 0 is your Q3 state. So 1, 0 contains the 66 percentage of your target string. The next symbol can be 0, it can be 1, it can be blank. With the next symbol as 0, that has to be converted to 1 and it will be the residence state will be Q4 and the movement will be towards the right hand side. Now Q3 with the next symbol that it was previously containing 66% but because of the third symbol S1 it is converted into 33%. So it will be converted to Q2 with the movement towards the right hand side. Now Q3 with blank means out of your uh, uh, string 100 we got only the two sub string 10. So we will stop here only. So with the blank, we are going to, going to end the session. Now, we are going to consider the, the, the required string, that is Q4. Q4 is what we had converted the last bit to one. So this is your Q4. So the next symbol in Q4 can be either zero, it can be one, or it can be the next symbol as blank. The next symbol can be zero, the next symbol can be one, next symbol can be blank. So the Q4 with the next symbol as zero means it contain the 0% of your required string. So that is indicated by Q4. It will move towards the right hand side. By Q4 with the next symbol S1, that means it contains 33% of the required string and indicated by Q2. By Q4 with blank means this is your final position and we will stop here. That means the no movement. So from the previous discussion, we are now we are going to write the state transition table. So that is written here. Now we will draw the state transition diagram so we start with q0 so q0 with zero the output will be zero i will move to the right hand side with the state q1 now q1 now q0 with one it is moving towards the right hand side with the output will be same output symbol output will be output symbol will be similar to the input symbol it will move to the uh, state q2 now if q0 with blank that is error so that error we are not drawing in state transition diagram now q1 with zero is going towards itself with the movement right side now q1 with one is going to q2 with the movement towards the right hand side now q1 with one that is it is your halting position now q2 with zero this is moving towards the right hand side and going to Q3 state. Now Q2 with 1 going towards the uh, right hand side and in the same state. Now Q2 with blank is, is the halting position. Now Q3 with 0 going towards the right hand side and going to the final state which is Q4. Okay. Q3 with 1 is again going to Q2 and Q4 on 0. It is going to Q1 going towards the right hand side with two uh, with one it is going to Q2 with the right direction and with the blank it is going to halting position. So this is how we are going to design Turing machine to replace 100 by 101. I uh, hope you people have understood the concept. Do like the video, share the video. 
if you are having any doubt you can write the comments also uh, in the comments also you can feel your uh, you can also write your feeling how you find the video whether you like the video or not and also subscribe the channel because subscription is very important thanks for watching